The film opens with a young man named Jason Brady strumming his guitar in his room. Jason is a blogger and musician. With school out, he and his sister, Zoe, are headed to a Catholic boarding school. Upon arrival, they are greeted by the principal sister Rebecca, meanwhile, another nun, sister Sophia, watches over Jason and his family from the principal's office. Sister Rebecca soon returns to the office and warmly welcomes sister Sophia, reminding her of the importance of following the school rules. Sister Rebecca quickly hands Sister Sophia a tissue, instructing her to remove her makeup immediately. After a brief conversation, Sister Rebecca takes Sister Sophia on a tour of the school. During this tour, Sister Sophia meets Jason and discovers she will be his new homeroom teacher. Sister Sophia seems to know new student Jason. After checking into her room, she watches his music video on her laptop and gets a little too friendly with the screen. Later, Sophia creeps into the boys' dorm and hears Jason playing guitar. The next day, she gets jealous of Sarah flirting with Jason in class and scolds her harshly. When Sarah and Jason share a kiss in the schoolyard, Sophia appears out of nowhere furious. She breaks them up, warns Jason off Sarah, and then summons him to her office after school. What's Sophia's secret connection to Jason? New student Jason catches sister Sophia acting strange. She seems to know him and gets jealous of him talking to Sarah. Later, Jason sees sister Sophia in just her underwear, totally freaked out. He can't stop thinking about her. Meanwhile, sister Sophia tries to get Sarah expelled by planting cigarettes in her room. She gets caught by another teacher, but Sarah gets blamed anyway. Will Jason tell what he saw? What's sister Sophia's real motive? Sarah was taken to the principal's office, but all she could do was cry and insist that the cigarettes were not hers, however the school still punished her according to its rules, she was suspended and had to leave school for a while, this was followed by a thorough search throughout the school. A bottle of alcohol was found in Jason's room in the hostel, when punishing Jason Sophia spoke to other teachers and nuns and asked for leniency, Jason was assigned to help clean the school on the weekend Sophia wanted Jason to stay at school that weekend, so she punished him later. A flashback scene shows Sophia's growing feelings for Jason, she thoroughly researched Jason and learned that a nun named Sophia was employed at Jason's school, Sophia met the nun and sent her away, she disguised herself as Sophia and began coming to Jason's school on weekends during cleaning time both Jason and Zoe stopped by Sophia, worked with Jason and tried to seduce him that night, while Jason was sleeping in his room room, Sophia entered the room and secretly turned on the recording on his phone, sensing someone in the room Jason woke up and was very surprised sister Sophia approaches Jason and tries to convince him to do something inappropriate. Jason wrestled with a terrible dilemma. He knew succumbing to Sophia's advances was wrong, but her allure was overpowering. Despite his resistance, they crossed a line, and shame washed over him the next morning. The discovery only deepened his despair. Sophia, seemingly unfazed, displayed a disturbing obsession. When Zoe innocently stumbled upon Sophia's inappropriate behavior, it triggered a chain reaction. Zoe, confused and betrayed, exposed Jason's transgression. Sophia, instead of remorse, punished the innocent Zoe. Confession, meant to offer solace, became another twisted encounter. Sister Sophia, supposed to be a source of guidance, exploited the situation for her own desires. Back home, a weekend party offered a chance at normalcy. Sarah's attempt at affection only highlighted Jason's conflicted state. Sophia consumed his thoughts, driving him away from genuine friendship. Desperate to escape the turmoil, he reached for a dangerous solace alcohol. His escape was cut short. Arrested for public intoxication, he braced for the consequences. But instead of judgment, an unexpected figure emerged. Sophia, relief turned to frustration as she whisked him away, not towards home, but to a hotel. There, her true motives were laid bare. A life of luxury in Paris, fueled by her wealth, was the price she offered for his silence. The weight of their actions hit Jason hard. He realized the initial transgression had spiraled, eroding his morals and judgment. With newfound clarity, he rejected Sophia's offer. He couldn't be bought, and their secret was tearing him apart. Exhausted from the emotional rollercoaster with Sophia, Jason left the hotel. Desperate for a lifeline, he reached out to Zoe. Her understanding, along with his father's unwavering support for his music, offered a glimmer of hope. Back at school, Jason found a chilling sight. Sophia unconscious on his bed. Panic surged through him, fearing a drug overdose. Relief washed over him when he realized it was a twisted prank for attention. He'd had enough. Threatening to expose her actions to the priest and principal, he confronted Sophia. Trapped, she threatened to expose their secret in return. 
The tension escalated further when Sophia's manipulative nature surfaced again in class. Just as Sarah, seemingly free from punishment, returned, Rebecca interrupted the lesson. Sarah, welcome back with open arms, reconnected with Jason. Seeing their growing closeness ignited a jealous rage in Sophia. Driven by her possessiveness, Sophia hatched a dangerous plan. Sneaking into the dorms, she brutally attacked Sarah in the shower. The once playful prankster revealed a dark side of predator manipulating the situation to her advantage. Disguising the assault as an accident, Sophia left Sarah injured and alone. Zoe's screen shattered the fragile piece. Sarah lay motionless, the grim reality far worse than a simple fall. Alerted by the frantic calls, police and residents swarmed the dorm. Despite the evidence of a struggle, the official story painted a tragic accident, at the summer church gathering, Jason, fueled by grief and suspicion, confronted Sophia. A flicker of fear crossed her face before she masked it with anger. Brandishing a videotape undeniable proof of their forbidden encounter, she silenced him. The weight of his secret and the threat of exposure hung heavy. The weekend offered no escape. While Jason and Zoe found solace in their families, a predator lurked. Sophia fueled by twisted possessiveness planned her next move. Their paths would inevitably cross, and the consequences of her actions threatened to explode. The news of Sarah's death hung heavy. Zoe's horrified scream confirmed the worst. Despite the evidence of a struggle, the authorities ruled it an accident. At a summer church gathering, grief-stricken Jason confronted Sophia, suspecting her involvement. A flicker of fear betrayed her before she brandished a videotape of their intimacy, silencing him with the threat of exposure. Meanwhile, Sophia, using a fabricated aunt's funeral as an excuse, weaseled her way into a dinner with Jason's unsuspecting family. Rebecca, suspicious of Sophia's story, investigated and discovered the hospital had no record of the patient. Back at school, Zoe, sensing Jason's unease pressed him. He confessed his forbidden encounter with Sophia in the blackmail video. Determined to expose the truth, Jason and Zoe raided Sophia's room. Unmasking her as Laura Patterson, a dangerous imposter, they realized she'd manipulated everyone to get close to Jason. The revelation sent shockwaves. Rebecca summoned Sophia, ready to expose her lies. But in a desperate move, Laura attacked Rebecca, rendering her unconscious. Taking advantage of the chaos Jason pulled a screwdriver out of his pocket and used it to stop Sophia seven months later, all students successfully graduated it.